What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Revolver mod, and what this mod does is it adds a revolver to Minecraft. It has some normal bullets and a few special bullets. So, let me go ahead and hop into my world, and I'll go ahead and show you what these do. So, as you can see, we have the revolver and your iron bullet, gold bullet, destructive bullet, teleporting bullet, and fire bullet. So, the iron bullet is just the normal bullet. Uh oh, the pig's going crazy. Then we have your gold bullet, which is a bit stronger than the iron bullet. Stop running from me. And as you can see, this does have some kickback. So now we have your destructive bullet. And what this bullet does is when you shoot at a block, it'll take out the block that you hit. Like so. Now we have our teleporting bullet. And wherever you hit, it'll teleport you. So there you go, I shot the top of this so it teleported me up here. And last but not least, we have the fire bullet. Which sets fire and takes away a block. So that's pretty much it. Very simple mod, fun to mess around with. So yeah, I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs do work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download AudioMod, ModLoader, and the Revolver Mod itself. So to get AudioMod, ModLoader, and the Revolver Mod, I'll go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the Revolver Mod, if we go ahead and scroll down, here's all the crafting recipes and just all the information on the mod and we want to go ahead and come down to downloads and just go ahead and click on mod and it'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner after five seconds a yellow button that says skip add will appear as soon as you click on skip add it will automatically download the mod now for audio mod and mod loader we're going to go ahead and come over to Resigami's mods and scroll down until you see mod loader 1.1 and you can either do download from AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. I usually tend to download from direct because then I can just just drown, bleh, then I can just download it directly from this page. So after you download mod loaders, go ahead and scroll down a little bit more until you see audio mod 1.1. And again, you can either do download AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. So that is how you're going to download everything that you will be installing. When you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent just like this down here then you go ahead and open up your roaming folder now open up your dot minecraft then go into your bin now you want to left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I'm using WinRAR so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR so now we can go ahead and just minimize your bin because we will be coming back to it later on in the tutorial so do not close it just minimize it so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up audio mod and highlight these three files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Audio Mod. Now open up Mod Loader and highlight all these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Open up the Revolver Mod and open up Put into Minecraft jar and put all these files into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Hit this little gold arrow to go back so we can see the two folders. Now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called MetaInf if you do not see this, don't worry, you can just go ahead and skip this step. But if you do see it, what we want to do is delete MetaInf. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it, select delete files, and hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you always delete MetaInf when you're installing a mod. If you don't, it'll cause Minecraft to crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you're done with the Minecraft jar. You can go ahead and close that. And you should have minimized your bin, so bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back, so we're back on the .minecraft folder. Now open up your resources folder and now open up put into resources folder and take the folder called mod and drag it into your minecraft jar or your dot your resources folder sorry so after you do that there you go you're done installing the mod 
So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.